that. So do you see how many phone calls we had to make so that we don't get stranded in Bujumbura? Anyways, when we got this taxi, these guys were mad. So what they did, they called the police on us. Guys, our trip, our trip in Bujumbura has come to an end. We wish we could stay longer, but the plans have to be followed. So we are heading out right now. We are taking a matatu to the place where we'll get um, buses back to Kigali. So follow along. I will update you in case there is any important information that you need to know. Shout out to your channel again. Hey, hello, how are you? I'm more I'm a village between Martha. My name is Martha. Everyone this woman. I'm all the sense that you can confess. I'm just your ghost if we're not undressed. A part of me wish that we never met. But you act like we never Only one, 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 one thousand. How much are these ones? Those uh, two of them here. Yeah, this one. You want how many? How? One, one, one thousand five hundred each. Hey. Oh, cover the one. One thousand. This is much a bit. Nijande. Mother is trying to buy some things from the market here in Burundi before we go get our bus. <coughs> so we are all tagging along, of course. <coughs> Did we pass a place with chili? I'm coughing. We are now looking for that fish that she wants called the Ndakara. Such a Uganda word, but it's a name for fish. Once we find it, we're gonna look for the buses. Says that you can confess. I'm just your ghost if we're not undressed. Part of me wish that we never met. But you act like you could never get to waste it in the bathroom. Oh, you can't touch. And you kissed me in the backseat. Guys, there is a whole fish market. So this is the ndagala that Martha was looking for. In English it's called silverfish. In Luganda we call it mukene. I think Kenyans call it omena. So this is what Martha was looking for. She said it's not there in plenty in Rwanda so it's more expensive. And of course they also sell in kilos just like in Rwanda. I think it's those first two countries where I've seen them sell fresh foods in kilos. In Uganda we still don't use kilograms to measure such things guys Martha wants palm oil so we are negotiating is <laughs> it <laughs> I'm so content on my boat. 
boat. Eh? Which are we going to sit with the bugs? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uncle is the one. Alphonsine, you wanted us to walk all this distance. <laughs> you are rebel. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is child <laughs> battering. Child if the labor. weather was I'm good, eh? it this is child, child. labor. <laughs> Guys, we are now in the bus park. We're going to see if we have some slots left on the bus. I'm going to use Volcano again. The only available Volcano bus is going tomorrow. We tried Modern Coast, it's also full. So today is a Sunday, which makes me feel like Sunday is not such an operational day because we've been also looking for Eco Cash and all the mobile money kiosks are literally closed. And now this bus is also full and we made a mistake of not booking, of which we don't learn. So now they are going to try to hook us up with a small taxi that is probably going to Rwanda. We are waiting on that and we we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Guys, we completely failed to get buses. So we've got an Akai, it was a bit of a struggle, but it can only take us up to Kanyaru. That's the border of, of Burundi and Rwanda. And then from there they say we'll be able to get a taxi to a taxi to Kigali. Guys, we only got this car three hours later. So we were literally in the park waiting for three whole hours. We had like four different people promise us that they would get us um, taxis to Kigali, taxis to the border, and they all seemed non-trustworthy. You know when your intuition is telling you don't trust this person? Like there was a group of four guys, we found them in the park. They were telling us that we pay them the money, the entire money that it would cost us to go from Bujumbura to Chigali, we pay it to them and then they will give us a taxi first that will leave us at the border and then at the border they will connect us to another one that will take us to Chigali. But it just seemed so fishy, that's why we didn't go with them. But then in the end when we got this other taxi, which we got through Martha, Martha got it through um alpha who hosted us and alpha got it through the husband so do you see how many phone calls we had to make so that we don't get stranded in bujumbura anyways when we got this taxi these guys were mad so what they did they called the police on us and um, i explained a bit of what happened here you can just listen Get off but we had some i want to say corruption issues some people who we don't know <laughs> We are concerned that we got a private car to take us around. So they had to look for any way to incriminate us. First, they checked our documents. We had all our documents. They checked the driver's documents. He had his documents. And then they just blatantly said they need some money. Our driver handled it. And then now we are on our way to the border. But we almost didn't tell them because of that issue. Sitting lonely in my room again I'm Trying to find the words to say But nothing comes out I am looking for the better day It seem like they just stay away Whenever I try There's so many things that I keep in my mind My friends keep me out And it hurts every time With all the emotions I built up inside Oh, why can't I? Road trips are more hectic compared to flying. They take more time compared to flying, as we all know. But if you're the kind of person that is debating on whether to take a road trip from Burundi to Rwanda or from Rwanda to Burundi as opposed to flying, and you're looking for that one thing that might motivate you, I would say that it's the views. The views are really scenic. You see how beautiful Rwanda is with the hills in the background. Now imagine when you get to the Burundi side, the hills are more. They give even a better view. We argued 
and came to an agreement that the hills are really more in Burundi. It's like they start from Burundi. I don't know, maybe if there are other countries beyond beyond Burundi and have not been, maybe they start from there. But according to where I've been, it's like they start from Burundi, reduce as you get to Rwanda, and then disappear in Kavali district in Uganda. So the views are really, really scenic. You'll enjoy. And I'd recommend that if you can afford, you take private means because it will take you half the time that a bus will take you and it will be more comfortable and you'll get to make stops wherever you want. And yeah, that's really it. The road is good as you can see. So really, really, if you're looking for a reason to take a road trip, I would say do it. That's if you have more time, you're more adventurous and you're willing to take in these scenic views through the window of your car. Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears. But I see the light from far away, it's down the line. Maybe I should not give up without a fight. Cause there will be a time. Oh, oh. Getting lonely in my room again Acting like I'm innocent Why do I try? Cause now I'm feeling like a fool again Thinking I can fool myself by telling me lies When there's so many things that I keep in my mind I hang around people I don't even like If they can be happy and walk with a smile Oh why can't I? Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears. But I see the light from far away, it's down the line. Maybe I should not give up without a fight. Cause there will be a time. Oh, oh. we are already in the border town of Kanyaru the funniest thing has happened we are five in a car of which that's not allowed so every time we are nearing a police post a place where, or a place where policemen are standing one of us has to get out get a get a border at one point there were no borders so two of us three of us got out and just walked and now we are waiting for Africa is not a jungle we, we gave her to our border to bring her to a point that's a bit closer so that when we pass the police. Maybe she's, maybe she's ahead. This is what Kanyaru town looks like. Changu <laughs> 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 Police, police, we have a minister named Ghana. So I asked him. Uh, the police even on border was I uh, was stopping, <laughs> stopping us. So I asked him, uh, uh -huh. Swahili, that police nasema nini. Uh -huh. Then he said, "Anataka kuma." <laughs> kuma is what? Said, kuma is what? 
Money. Like, nye, 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 nye. What? Oh, that is like a woman. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> when I was, actually, when he saw my ring, he said, hey, this is a real Oh lord. So your wedding ring is saved you. I want to buy myself rings for travel purposes. So much. Guys, we've successfully made it at the border. Now we pray for a smooth and quick process at the border because the three hours that we spent at the border last time cannot be it. Also, the journey took three hours and a half. I thought it would take two hours since we are using private means. <laughs> Mother has just given up on me. Guys, you are in no man's land. We are crossing. The process was smooth because there are no people, there is no line. Oh, we are still in Burundi side actually. See the signpost there? Welcome to the Republic of Rwanda. Can you even guys see it? It's against the light. Huh? It's against the light. But no man's land is there. There, 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 there. Okay, thank you. I need to that man. Which man? Oh. <laughs> so again it's the light. As we crossed the border successfully, connected into another taxi that is going to leave us somewhere and then we get another one. But you're not putting a car driver, but you're getting in you. Will someone look for me if I disappear? No matter how much that I scream, nobody hears. But I see the light from far away, it's down the line. Maybe I should not give up without a fight, cause there will be a time. We always give it one last try Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times Now I'm all alone Cause you never show You say you will But then you don't That's how it goes Don't wanna know I'm turning off my mind so I get by I just wanna be happy it looks like we are trying to get a ticket at Volcano to continue to Kigali yeah where Volcano is there but they've slowed I don't know where they're going we all know that it's a lie now I'm all alone cause you never show is, is, is that it going to Chigali? Oh, is it is seven. Oh, this is we are taking this one. Guys, our bus hey, is <laughs> so it's, it's the last we are going to. What? Uh, <laughs> no. Guys, we've made it to Nyabugogo. Three cars later and we're in Kigali. Thank you so much guys for watching. It took us a total of 10 hours. Not a big difference from when we used the public transport and the total cost has been 16,500 Rwandan francs Oh, the light is this side and when we used the bus, the total was 17,000 Rwandan francs so I guess you get to say 500 or not depending on your bargaining power 
Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you in another one. Bye.